Welcome to the Zen Beats How To Series. Today we're going to show you how to use the advanced features in the audio editor. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at this project. As you can see here, I have a drum track with a 4 bar loop, and I have a bass track with an 8 bar loop. Let's access the audio editor. To do that, simply double tap on the pattern, like so. With the audio editor open, let's show the advanced audio editing tools. Just click the left arrow here to show the audio inspector panel. As you can see on the left, we have a large gain knob. This can be used to adjust the volume of the bass loop. This volume occurs before any effects you may have on the track. So you can use it to maybe drive a certain effect harder or softer as you see fit. To the right, we have some additional playback options such as reverse. Toggling this on will flip the audio loop completely backwards and it'll sound something like this. Down below, we have some stretching options. Stretch is automatically enabled by default for all of our loops. As you can see here, my project tempo is 90, but the source tempo reported here is at 120. This allows us to play the bass at any tempo that we want. With preserve pitch enabled, I can actually change the BPM higher or lower, and the pitch of the bass will stay the same. Let's go ahead and bump this up to 110 beats per minute and take a listen. Just a faster tempo, pitch is the same. If you turn off preserve pitch, it'll actually change the entire pitch of the bass, which may or may not be desired. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. With preserve pitch enabled, you also have fine tuning control abilities of any audio loop. You can adjust the pitch up by semitone or by octave. This will help you take any melodic loop you have and adjust it to the right key of your song. Next, let's look at setting up loop points. Now, as I mentioned, I have a four bar drum loop, but this loop here is eight bars. Let's start by making them match. I'm gonna grab the loop end marker and adjust it until I can see it says four bars, like so. Now you'll notice when I press play, The drums and the bass are now playing perfectly in sync and looping perfectly. You can easily adjust the right side for the end or the left side here. Down below, we have our new cropping and fading tools. These allow you to do lots of things. Like for example, I can grab the right crop handle over here and then I can drag the top part to fade it out. You can adjust the speed of the fade as well by grabbing this middle handle and dragging up or down. The same goes for fading in. Just grab the top triangle and pull it in like so. And you can fade any loop in just like that. Now let's say we want to do something a little unique. Let's say we actually want the loop part to be, you know, really small. Like, let's say we just wanted to loop the last half measure of this. The loop point, crop and fade handles, and playback marker here can be used completely independently of each other. Watch this. I'm going to grab the loop start, and I'm going to highlight just the last half of this beat. You'll notice when I adjust the left loop locator, the playback marker always follows and snaps to the beginning of it. But we don't have to leave it there. We can drag it here, and now press play. What we're going to hear is the bass slowly fading in, and then looping just on the back half. Check it out. As you can see, there are many ways you can adjust your audio loops to best fit your arrangement, no matter what style of music you're making. That's a wrap for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when we release the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.